Capital Bowl 18 pitted the defending champion Gladiators against the University of Canberra Firebirds, who'd won the previous four titles from 2005 to 2008. The Gladiators began running a triple option behind their big offensive line, with running back Stuart Duncan and quarterback John Rowe picking up yards. But the Firebirds' defense was equal to the task. The score was still tied at zero late in the second quarter, and the Gladiators faced a fourth down inside the red zone. Duncan converted the first down, moving the ball down to the four-yard line, but the Firebirds' defense held, and the Gladiators had to settle for a 3-0 lead on this 27-yard Chris McKenzie field goal. Up until this point, the Firebirds had only had the ball for two possessions. Their third one would start with less than two and a half minutes left in the half. Short completions to Jeremy Milne moved the ball to midfield, but the key play was a pass interference penalty that was committed by the Gladiators on receiver Munro Harrison Brown, who got open down the left sideline. This set the ball up at the 11-yard line, and on the next play, Milne followed a good block up the middle and ran in for a touchdown to give the Firebirds a 7-3 lead at half time. The Firebirds took the ball to start the second half, but immediately racked up three consecutive false start penalties, setting up first down and 25. A 14-yard completion to Bo Kennett helped make the distance manageable, setting up a fourth down and one, which was converted by this quarterback sneak by Luke Job. After that, the Firebirds continued to move down the field in short chunks, with the drive being capped by an 11-yard touchdown pass from Job to Kennett, resulting in a 14-3 lead. The Gladiators could not move the ball on their next possession, and a short punt by McKenzie set up the Firebirds inside the Gladiators' half. A mixture of runs by Jeremy Mill and penalties moved the ball to the one-yard line, where Job followed a good block by Santa Sam Babic and snuck into the end zone for a 21-3 lead. A 24-yard completion from fullback EJ Samoa to Chris McKenzie highlighted the next Gladiators' drive. However, it ended on fourth down when John Rowe's pass was intercepted by Firebirds' free safety Chris Kitek. Two plays later, Jeremy Milne broke the game open for good when he took off down the right sideline on his 50-yard dash. The 50-yard carry took Milne over the 100-yard rushing mark and set up the Firebirds inside the red zone. Four plays later, Jove rolled to the right and found Kennett in the back of the end zone for their second touchdown of the game, giving the Firebirds a 28-3 lead. Gladiators running back Stuart Duncan dived in for a consolation touchdown inside the final 30 seconds, but with the final score 28-11, the Firebirds began to celebrate. It was the club's fifth championship in the past six years and made up for the disappointment of losing last year's semi-final to the Gladiators. Jeremy Milne was named the game's most valuable player with 133 yards rushing on 13 carries and an extra 24 yards on four receptions. The victory gave the Firebirds a 9-1 record for 2010. The nine wins also tied a club record for most victories in a season.